Hey everyone, it's Mark for Windows Central and here's a look at the latest update for Twitter on Windows 10 Mobile. We're happy that it's finally here, it looks great, let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing you notice is the dark theme. Um, there was no option to change it into a light theme within the app itself, but after a second glance, we notice that it's connected to your system settings. So right now I'm using dark mode. If I change it to light and go back to the, the Twitter app, it's uh, going to change into a light theme. Uh, but of course, it's also going to change your whole system into the light theme itself. Uh, we would prefer if uh, the Twitter app has the option within the app to change between the modes. Uh, but again, this is the initial version, so they might add that later on. So this is the main timeline. As you may have noticed, it supports thumbnails. So if your tweet has uh, an image, it will show you a thumbnail of that. It also supports thumbnails for videos themselves. Uh, the videos won't play in line, but uh, if you tap on them, it will open the browser and play the YouTube video. And this app also supports GIFs. So for example, if I tap the search button and search for tweets that mention GIF, uh, for example, you'll see it here, and uh, it's actually playing in line. And it also supports, quote, retweets. So for example, here's a tweet that has a, a quote in it. Uh, you could also create your own. So for example, let's go ahead with this one. I'm going to tap the retweet button. But instead of choosing retweet, I'm going to go ahead and select, quote, retweet. So it's going to retweet that tweet, but I'll be able to say something in front of it. And if you take a look on top, there are tabs. So the next tab is the, the moments section, which shows you the trending stories. Uh, there are categories here as well. So you could swipe right to sports, entertainment, fun, today, election 2016, uh, whatever topic is trending right now. Uh, the next tab is showing your mentions. Uh, so for example, here, here are my notifications for uh, uh, people that liked my tweets or people who retweeted my tweets. And if you want to go ahead and tweet something, just tap the compose button here on, at the bottom and uh, you could go ahead and type something here, tweet. You could also add images. Um, so let's, you can select your camera or gallery. Let's go ahead with gallery. What I like about this is you could actually add multiple photos. So for example, I'm going to tap that and then uh, it's going to show a thumbnail preview there but if i want to add another photo i'm going to go ahead and tap the plus uh, camera button there hit gallery and select another photo so for example this one hit checked and that's going to add uh, two photos to my tweet this also supports videos as well so if you want to add a video tap the camera button again hit gallery and i'm going to select a video here um, let's see if i have one here uh, let's go with this one and hit OK. Uh, it's going to load a few seconds. You can go ahead and uh, play it back. And then when you're happy with that, tap Done. And it's going to uh, load it up for a few seconds. And then you could go ahead and tweet that. So yeah, that's a quick look at the new Twitter app for Windows 10 Mobile. It looks great and we're really happy with it. Only thing is I want an option within the app to change between light and dark modes. But other than that, we're really happy with it. Give it a try, download it from the Windows Store, and let us know what you think. I'm Mark for Windows Central. Thanks for watching.